Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we had just been looking for the test terminal that I found was actually right here. I'm a blind motherfucker, apparently. This is the last one. There we go, and we're good. And, uh, while I was setting up the recording, turns out I'm suffering from psycho withdrawal. I didn't even remember getting addicted to Psycho, but apparently that happened. So, Fixer should remove that for the time being, for a while. Yeah. Uh, temporary addiction removal, I'm a little woozy, huh? I've never actually used Fixer, so this is a new experience for me. Yeah, that, hopefully it doesn't kill me. <laughs> uh, food's actually pretty good. Good. I kind of need sleep. I do kind of need sleep. And my limbs are kind of broken-ish. I could use a stim pack or two. There we go. Stimp addict. <laughs> it's funny because I'm actually dealing with addiction right now. Uh, let's put some doctor's bags on the l limbs over here. That should do. And uh, yeah. Just, uh, what? Oh, oh. So that's a, uh, side effect of the fixer. Okay. Alrighty. That's a thing. And the body went flying over the fucking wall. Okay. Okay. God, I love this Tommy gun. I love it to bits. I do not get to run it enough. Let's get the body. Let's get that real quick. And it had nothing. Well, fuck me then. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright. Let's put that back. There we go. And let's swap to the little devil. And I did a little reading up again. Oh, there goes the fixer. Um... I might be bringing back a light in the darkness. Since I'm already running his armor, I might as well go full out and run most, if not all, of <laughs> the burn man's equipment. Alrighty. We're all good here. So we get the hell out now. And I think that ends all the tests in X8. I think. Damn you, Fixer. Exit the test near Retreat. Retrieve a test data. That's the last of it. Okay. Hmm. Whoop. Oh, that was weird. Now let's try and pick up any stuff I missed in this whole area. The 19,000 times I've gone through it. God damn it, Fixer. Stop it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm gonna be at my wit's end with that. God, I cannot wait until the pack rat. Oh boy. Oh, scrap metal. I only just noticed that. There we go. Uh, yeah, pack rat is a perk you get, god damn it, later in the game. That will lessen the uh, weight of all items that are below the weight of two by half, which is good if you carry a lot of healing items and food with you, especially in this sort of playthrough, and it also affects certain weapons. Uh, I believe light, a uh, light in the darkness is one of those weapons, along with the 9mm pistol and its variants. So yeah, That would be pretty damn good to have, I think. Oh, let's get the test data out. There we go. Unusual specimen test results. There we go. And we are done. DNA agent perk unlocked. Great. Your study of the abominations created at the big mountain, big empty, has granted you a damage bonus against night stalkers. That is a good perk to have. Because those motherfuckers will kill you quick if you're not paying attention. 
There we go. Now, let's see what other perks I have to unlock. No, not perks. More tests, really. First, I should probably drop off half the crap I'm carrying. That would probably be best. Uh, let's look at what we have to do. Return Gabe's bowl to Dr. Boros. I might as well get that all done in one go, so I'll go to the balcony and then go to the th think tank. Uh, I'm not crazy, I swear. <laughs> Sorry, I have to drink cold liquids, otherwise I slowly die of heat. It's actually pretty damn easy right now. We're, we've been hitting like the 100 degree rathers. It was just a what? Okay. You've been hitting the, uh, like, 100 degree weather really damn quickly. Uh. Hmm. How many overcharge cells do I have right now? Uh. 201. Don't really need to be making more, actually. So, let's make them into microfusion cells. And... Let's make some of these. And... Oh, I can swap them over there. Cool. Uh... Let's make... Wait. I don't have enough wonder glue. What? I'm getting some of my stuff because I need to make weapon repair kits. It consolidates the weight way too much to pass out a pass up on pass out on. That's what I do when I'm drunk. Jesus. Uh, duct tape. That should do. Uh, let's see if I have some more spare electronics. Uh, that should do. Scrap electronics. Scrap metal. There we go, and I think that'll do it. I'm over encumbered and can't run. Great! Yippity do fucking diddly. Let's see if we can drop shit in here first. Um, I have a lot of these rounds that I'm not using. Uh, aid. This is this is set up for aid stuff. Um, dirty water. Drop you, because I will mass purify y'all later. Uh, Nuka Cola. Uh, the purified water I need. Uh, Stealth Boys. Am I? Do I have them in here? Yeah, I do. I'll just drop some of them in there. Uh, Whiskey. Yeah. That'll work. Drop all the wines in there because they're kind of cheap. Uh, pull out the vodkas because I can sell those. At least. That'd be better. In the long Might run. Might I be of service, sir? Yeah, uh, repair my equipment for right now. This, all this, all of this. That way you actually have Might plenty of, of caps service, to sell back to me. That you gotta be uh, conscientious about that. There's your big word for the day. Alright. <laughs> okay, let's see what stuff we can drop because of selling. I could, I could keep that. It's actually not that heavy. Um, run all of them through for the time being. I could sell all the frag mines. That would be good. Be very good. The laser rifle, I could sell that too. Uh, microfusion cells. I could make them into something bigger and more valuable. So we'll wait on that. Holy shit, that is 30 pounds of weight for all of that. Sell now. Gotta love all that money, though. <laughs> Let's see, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Does not look like anything other than the vodka that I just pulled out. Yep, that's it. Alright. Cool beans. That works for me. Let's make these and make all of these. Wait, again, four. 
Uh, I have all the wrenches I could possibly get. I I could have sworn I got enough. I could have sworn, but I, apparently not. There we go. That'll do. One more should do it all. Wait, I had six wrenches. Fuck! I'm sorry. Everyone I am torturing with how stupid I am. I just picked up all of them when I didn't want to. Uh, be right back. And I'm back. This is why I usually drink energy drinks while I'm doing this, because my brain will go fucking stupid otherwise. Alright. I'll make all of these, and I think that, that's just fine. I'll uh, sell be all the microfusion cells I just made. Uh, ammo is quicker. There it is. Overcharge. Doubles their value. How can I say wrong to that? How can I say no to that? Say wrong. I'm stupid. I'm still very fucking stupid. Where's... Oh, there's... There's nothing I can get from these yet because they haven't regrown yet. Um, hmm. Let's break these down real quick. Uh, let's make up these because they're the ones that are useful to me. There we go. Uh, break down the 44 Magnums. The three. Um. I could have sworn I had other things to break down down, didn't I? I could have sworn. Maybe it's in the safe. Um, hmm, hmm. No, I do not. Weird. Oh, well. It's not like it matters anyway. Not like it matters too much. Let's throw the uh, proton throwing axes, at least some of them, in here. Because I'm not going to be using too many of them. Uh, just for repair, really. Uh, there's this. I'm using... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all good. All good at all. It's all good. There we go. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Before my brain collapses in on itself again. Oh, and it already did. I was planning on talking to Boros. There we go. I completely forgot in my frustration. There we go. All good now. Or if you heard that. Alright. Boros is over there. Alright. Let's talk to him real quick. Real fast like. The lobotomite animal before me. What other terrifying terrors will plague us in our quest for knowledge? Communists? Communist animals, perhaps? Be warned. Uh. Attempt to propaganda me. I will shriek as a frightened babe calling loyal cyber dogs to my aid. Do you comprehend, commie animal? I'm not a communist. Socialist, maybe. I'm not entirely sure I fit that label either. Do you always get this dramatic? Drama? There is no drama in science. As I learned in high school, science is an intellectual pursuit devoid of bestial emotions. Are you sure Unless, about that? Unless, of course, you are a communist. Like Betsy Bright, who sat next to me in math, and her smoking confederate, Richie Marcus. Uh... As I learned in my high school, American High, AHS, drama is for movies. Things of fiction. Not Here on the think tank, the only star is science. About that, <laughs> I encountered your pet in X8 and had to kill it. So you I, I didn't really Gabe. do that though. That Thank was more you. a scam. But really, his highly augmented combat programming could have proved meddlesome. In any event, thank you for putting him down. One less test subject to catalog and sort. Clearly a failure of doggy cyber engineering. Isn't he your dog? Isn't this his, isn't this his bowl? 
Your dog from X8? What? Why, yes, it is. I used to leave it outside his doghouse, chock full of cans, before the cybernetic modifications, of course. And no matter how cammed the food, he would always eat it, and his tail would wag, even, even while I, I, you know, I'm having the most perplexing feeling squiggling through my biogel. I can't quite pin it down. Sounds like Gabe really loved you. Why, yes, Gabe. No matter how awful my day had been, he... he was always waiting there. How odd. My gel is decoagulating. And when I would talk to him about Betsy, and how Marcus would beat on me and call me smarty sissy pants, he'd just sit there, head on my knee, and... If you don't mind, I'll take that ball. Just need to remove it. Put it away, somewhere out of radar range. For so some reason, avoid his its similarity to the crater shape of Big Mountain is starting to fill up all available cognitive spaces. That, combined with my own overwhelming feeling of having done something terrible, the two were hitting me with unexpected force. Yeah. Kinda did do something terrible, dude. It sounds to me like you hurt someone who loved you very much. As odd as it is, I believe that is the conclusion. And I wonder why it didn't hit me before. Until I saw that memory in your hands. This sensation is unpleasant. I don't care for it. I don't care for this place either. And... I feel as if we've forgotten something. Still, it is no matter. Crush the feeling down. Crush it down. Push it into the loop. The... Hmm. Yes. Forgotten. Almost. Yes. I do not need to remember anymore. Not today. Okay, that's not good for you, but whatever you say there, bud. Uh, tell me about this radar fence around the crater. The radar fence protects us all. If evidence is correct, the one who built it is me. It you keeps everything with a disembodied brain inside. Like us. And anything without a brain also inside. It is the ultimate defense against communist aggression. There'll be no infectious ideas on my watch. So that explains why the Night Stalkers and Cazadors were able to get out. Because they still have their brains in their head. Okay. That fence doesn't make much sense to me, but wait a minute. That means you're trapped here. Trapped? Nonsense! We are secure here from evil philosophies. Uh -huh. Ever since my anxiety-filled days of powerlessness and being bullied in American high school, I have dreamed of such security as the fence. That and giant cybernetic dogs that would ruthlessly patrol and kill anyone who wasn't my friend, like Richie Marcus and Betsy Bright. You have Who's been dead. laughing now, Betsy? I hope you and Richie are happy smoking in your radioactive coffins. I'm glad you never came to my birthday party. Uh, okay. Don't you want to leave here? No! Beyond is death, despite mounting evidence to the contrary. Like me. No matter where these strange humans wander in from with their ideas and new brains, there is nothing beyond Big Mountain. Evidence to the contrary? Doesn't that prove you're wrong? Enough! Stop filling my precious brain cell units with irrelevant data. 
You sound like the other visitors, making wild claims of a world beyond, where there is a war beyond war. It is unproven and unthinkable. Bother the other doctors with your crackpot theories. I have no time. None of us do. But didn't you just tell me to bother the other ones with my crackpot theories? If they have no time to do it, why would I bother them when I can bother you? Whatever. <laughs> uh, why does Klein want these particular technologies? There is logic and purpose in it. If these technologies are needed to pierce the forbidden zone, so be it. Science is powerful, and in the right hands, our hands, or mine. if we had hands, we would be nigh unstoppable. Okay, fair enough. Never mind, we've spoken enough. Until next time, then. Provided there is a next time. For any of us. There should be. Uh, hey, level up. There we go. I'm going to finish this one up real quick. And I think I might end the episode here. We'll be talking with the rest of them after today. But for right now, I'm going to get this level up done. I think... Dropping some into science would be nice. Dropping some into survival would be nice. Actually, we could drop the rest of it in there, but I think I'll need lockpick leveled up soon. Now, let's see what was level 28's thing. Uh, rad absorption. But nerves of steel would be nice. Spray and pray. Uh... That would be nice when I'm running with Cass later, but I don't really use those sort of weapons that are s spray weapons anyway. Uh, the only one I use is a Tommy gun, and I only use that in specific situations. Um, what's one I could use? Uh, I guess we could do Nerves of Steel. It regenerates action points a lot quicker. And what would be the next one that we should go for on 30? Uh, the Burden of Bear. That is correct. That is the one we're going to go for. So, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, Nervous Steel. There we go. Boop! Alright. And we're going to end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. Take a look at my Patreon down below in the description. Decide whether or not you want to support me in making more videos for you guys. Or not. It's completely up to you. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games for you.